Hello guys, it's good evening and welcome to this technical guide for Tinker. First of all, we're going to see the various options that you want to have set in order to play Tinker optimally. And then we're going to move on to the uh, way that you want to practice the various combos and exactly perform them, right? First of all, um, abilities. I use Quickcast on Tinker and even though it only affects Laser and March, it actually makes things easier. And uh, I know that various pro players and high MR players, including Funkefal, do not use quick casts, uh, whether it be for abilities or items. I can assure you that it makes life much, much, much easier. And it's going to be an opportunity for you to get used to quick casts if you're not already using it. So I use quick casts on, uh, for abilities. And that's pretty much it. And now we're going to see items. Before uh, before talking about item hotkeys, make sure you tick this setting right here: enable advanced quick cast auto cast hotkeys, because that option enables you to um, have one same item slot uh, bound to two hotkeys: one for normal cast and one for quick cast. For instance, I'm going to just put them back to normal cast. All right, so I can have this first item slot on normal cast on one and on quick cast with the, this mouse button and this can be useful especially for eblade because i like to use eblade on myself with uh, by double tapping with the normal cast hotkey and <clears throat> sorry and when i use it offensively i'd rather use it with quick cast along with dagon and uh, hex all right and for the choice of item hotkeys i do not recommend having hotkeys with alt because it's going to make things a lot harder so if you use these digits it's good if you use uh, zxc and digits it's good uh, if you use a couple mouse buttons it's also good uh, but just avoid having um, you know alt or yeah it's basically alt plus um, other keys and uh, that's pretty much it about um, items uh, except that maybe um, make sure that you have uh, at least Dagon, um, Hex, and E-Blade on quick cast, all right? Because it's much, much easier uh, to perform combos when you have them on quick cast compared to normal cast. Uh, personally, I do not use Blink and TP uh, with quick cast because it's really not necessary. Uh, if you use them on quick cast, it's good for you. If not, do not worry, it's fine. Uh, as I said, the critical items that you you really want to have on quick cast are Dagon, uh, Hex, and also E-Blade, right? So this is about hotkeys. And now we move on to the uh, other important options that you want to have uh, set to play Tinker optimally. So we have this auto attack. Make sure you have it on never, because otherwise your hero is going to attack creeps when you TP and blink in the trees, and it's going to reveal your location. And you really do not want to reveal your exact location, all right? So make sure you have it on never. Uh, these two are not uh, critical, but you can have them, especially for um, if you want to use eBlade on yourself. But these two are super, super important. These two to the post requires hold stop, and channeled abilities require hold stop. This one is for TP, of course, using your travel boots, and this one is for rearm. Right, so when I was first playing Tinker, I was just cancelling my TP and my rearm without doing it on purpose, and I did not know about these two options. And it's actually going to change your life, it's going to make it much easier when you play Tinker because, um, you know, when you have rearm at level three, it costs 300 mana, and if you cancel it without doing it on purpose, you lose 300 mana, and sometimes it's going to end, uh, you're going to end up dying because of that. So make sure. To have these two options enabled. Um, finally, maybe the camera speed, uh, you might want to lower it. I, it's really not important, but at one point I felt I felt that the camera was moving too fast for me and it affected my gameplay. You know, I ended up blinking uh, in places where I did not plan to, to blink, so I just lowered it a bit. It's up to you. This is really a question of uh, preference and uh, what you're used to. So you might want to give it a try if you find that your camera moves too fast. Okay, so this is basically it for uh, the in-game settings. Now we're going to move on to the various combos. 
Before we move on to the combos and how to execute them, I'd like to talk about something really, really important, and it's uh, cast points and backswing animations. Uh, it's super important for Ticker because, as you can see, its various abilities have uh, very significant cast points and super long backswing animations. So you need to keep that in mind. Uh, that's why you do not want to shift Q with these uh, three abilities since you're not going to cancel these backswing animations. The only way to cancel them is by actually timing your key pressing so that uh, it it happens during uh, this period of time, okay? So let's say use laser. Uh, and if you want to blink after that or use another ability or an item, uh, you need to make sure you, you do it after these 0 0.4 seconds, okay? Um, so yeah, just learn this. Uh, screenshot this and uh, keep it in mind and uh, yeah and here you can see that items do not have backswing animations and no cast points so they're basically instant you can and you want to shift queue them because you're gonna just perform uh, these actions instantly uh, which is uh, very very useful but not with uh, the abilities with abilities you need to actually be quick with your fingers and make sure you you, you time it perfectly after these 0.4 seconds this uh, 0 0.53 seconds and here for missiles it's actually zero and uh, the whole 1.2 seconds is just backswing animation okay so uh, now we can actually move on to the uh, to the combos and how to perform them okay so we're going to start by performing the basic farming combo which is tp shift blink soaring bottle march but no rearm rearm we're going to see how to perform it okay so it looks like this As soon as I start the TP in, I, sh I click on shift, then blink, click on the blink location, and then while keeping shift pressed down, I use soaring, then bottle, then uh, march. Since march is on quick cast, I simply uh, click on E with my pointer located to the location where um, I plan to use it. I'm gonna perform it again. It looks like this. And then for rearm, you, you, you need to wait for the backswing uh, or the cast animation to end. Otherwise, it's going to be so long. I'm going to show you. Like, if you shift your rearm, it looks like this. See, it's very long. If you don't, if you, if you time it perfectly, it looks like this. You see? It's simply quicker and it saves time, it can save your life. And it's very crucial. So now what you want to practice is cancelling the backswing animation of laser, which is super long with either um, items or abilities. The way I like to practice it is with blink. Um, and it looks like this. See? The way to perform it is simple. Um, I have laser on quick cast, so I hover my mouse over the target. And as soon as, as soon as the laser is cast, I move my pointer to the location where I want to blink, in the trees or wherever, wherever, and then I blink. And if you're too quick, it's going to act as a shift cue and it's, and it's going to fail. It will look like this. So here I was too quick, so it didn't work. And that's not what, what you want to perform. You want to do this. You want to time it perfectly after the cast animation. And uh, as I said, you can do it with uh, you know, Dagon, Missile, March, whatever. So it looks like this. Or like this. See? So just practice it. And it's a bit stylish when you do it with Blink. Because it follows you, but be careful because it reveals your blink location. So if you blink in the trees, they're gonna know where you blinked. But it's still a, a good way to practice um, the timings with laser. Okay, so now we move on to the to the fun part because we will you will be using Dagon, all right? Um, the first combo you can perform is missile, laser, then Dagon. And it looks like this. But first of all, make sure you have Dagon on quick cast, otherwise it's 
it's really gonna be difficult, so it looks like this. See? Um, in slow mode, it's like this. You use missile, laser, and then as soon as uh, laser is cast, use dagger again. And when you perform it quickly, it looks like this. Okay, I didn't have mana for that again. I'm gonna do it one last time. So j just keep practicing in demon mode, because this combo is very useful. Um, the other way to perform the combo is by using missile and dagon first, then ending with laser. So uh, you can use, you can actually use missile and dagon at the same time, and it looks like this. Okay. And it's really uh, easy with quick cast. You just hover your your, your pointer, your mouse pointer, on the enemy, and just click on both hotkeys at the same time. So. You can do this, like click on missile and dagger at the same time, then use laser. Or, uh, as I see some people do, use dagger first, then missile, then laser, or missile, then dagger, then laser. So it looks like this. If we begin with missile, it's going to look, it's going to be this way. You see? Um, if we begin with dagger, it's going to look this way. It's up to you. Uh, sometimes you're you're just gonna be m more used to one way over the other. You'll develop a muscle memory for a combo. Uh, at first, I I always used this combo, but then I find I found myself using this one. It, it's just a question of preference. It's not gonna be. It's not. It's not a huge deal. Okay. So I'll just practice the two forms of the combo and then uh, you can use whatever, whichever you, you prefer, all right? Uh, let's see an example in slow mode so we can see things in detail. So here, what I do with the lacking is that I use missile and dagon first, then I rearm, and I use missile, laser dagon as we've seen. And I do the same with the PA. I just blink in, missile, laser dagger. As you can see, I have a Ghost Scepter, and the way uh, I recommend using it is um, putting it, like, you put it in the usual item slot of either Swearing or Bottle, and since your muscle memory should uh, should make you press those two hotkeys pretty frequently, you're, you're gonna end up doing the same with Ghost Scepter, okay? And it's really, really helpful. So here what I did to kill the PA mid was to TP, shift Q blink, or shift Q dagon then blink, and after that I used missile, laser, rearm, dagon again. And the good thing about this combo is that it enables you to disable blinks, because dagon is instant, as opposed to laser and missile, so uh, keep that in mind. Okay, so since we've not been pressing enough keys, we're gonna add another one, which is hex. First of all, you want to make sure it's on quick cast. And the way you perform the combo is this way. So as we said, Dagon, Hex have no cast animation and no backswing, so we can use them at the same time this way. Okay? This is very useful. And then you just um, use Missile, then Laser. So it looks this way. In slow mode, it's this. So these these two at the same time with quick cast, missile, laser, rearm. Fairly easy. the The good thing with uh, sight of ice and dagon is that if you can TP on a tower or an ally or uh, you know creeps and you can see an enemy and he can't see you TP in. You can simply shift Q, blink, hex and dagon. And they're not and they're not gonna have time to react since it's gonna be performed in literally zero seconds. Okay? So this is very useful. Let's say this is the enemy and I'm TP in here and he's not seeing me. What I can do is this TP, shift Q, blink, and then these two I these two items. And then it's they should be dead because 
once they're hexed, they, they can't react. The other good thing is that if they have a Lincoln Sphere, you can do the same shift combo, but shift Dagon first, then hex. So the thing is, Dagon is going to cancel, is going to pop the Lincoln, then you're going to hex them. Uh, this is why, as Tinker, uh, if you have Dagon, you don't really care about split pushers who have Lincoln, because if you can catch them by surprise, just use Dagon first, then Sight of Ice. All right? And you can even do it um, not by Shift Q and just this way. Just by, you know, uh, pressing Dagon first, then this one. So I'm, I'm going to show you the combo again. I'm going to TP on these creeps. And then Shift Q. Sometimes you're going to mess up. You're going to forget either missile or laser. But it's fine. Usually they're going to die just with, with the uh, Dagon spam. So this is, this is a very useful combo. And you can practice it without Dagon because sometimes you're going to be forced to rush Sight of Ice before Dagon. So it will simply look like this. It's fairly simple. Absolutely. It's the same thing, but you just replace Dagon with Hex. They, they, they work the same way. As we said, no cast animation and no backswing animation. So let's see another combo here in slow mode. Basically, it's a uh, classic punishing combo. It's uh, TP, Blink, Hex, Dagon, and whatever other items or abilities you have and then just rearm and get the kill. That's exactly what I did. I TP'd, shift q blink, hex, Dagon, and then missile laser, then rearm, Dagon. As you can see, I did not use Iblid on draw because otherwise my Slark wouldn't have been able to right click her. So make sure to not make that mistake because your muscle memory can make you do things you should not be doing, such as the Iblay thing or, uh, for instance, pressing BKD just because you're used to having bottle in that specific item slot, so be careful. Tinkering about. So again, we're adding another active item, uh, which is Iblade. Um, I use I use this hotkey for a uh, quick cast on Eblade uh, because I'm not used to the other ones. Uh, so this is up to you, uh, whichever hotkey you're gonna find, um, you know, comfortable for you. Exactly. So for me, is the mouse key. Uh, the way to perform this combo is uh, to make sure that the Eblade projectile hits the enemy before you use your dagon because you want to amplify the magic damage from dagon. And since the E-Blade projectile is, I'd say, pretty slow, it's not instant, uh, and you can do it from very far away, uh, the way I do it is I use Sight of Ice and E-Blade first at the same time, then use Missile, Laser, and End with Dagon. So it looks this way. You see? Um, after you rearm, you can actually use Dagon instantly because normally they still gonna have um, the E-Blade debuff but basically the combo as I said is I'm gonna do it in slow mode Hex and E-Blade at the same time they have no cast point so we can use them at the same time Missile, Laser, Dagon, Rearm I'm gonna try to do it again so you can you can follow with me um, hex e blade, missile, laser, dagon. Um, if you're lazy or you don't care that much about these two, you can just, you know, skip missile or skip laser. And just do it this way. And it actually does a lot of damage even if you don't use these two spells. So it's up to you. I like to per try to perform the full combo for practicing, but uh, it's basically up to you. Because if an enemy has, let's say, two and a half thousand HP, they're probably going to be dead if you use, um, you know, Dagon three times and Eblade three times. All right, Shiva's Guard. Uh, if you do very few people buy this item on Tinker, it can actually be very useful because it provides you no know, magic damage, flying vision, good for chasing people, and slows. And there is a combo with Shiva's, which is the, 
I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's the double shivers. It looks basically this way. Basically, you shivers twice, um, you know, in quick succession. Uh, what you need to know about shivers is that you can use it while channeling either a, ch a channeled item, like TP, or a channeled ability like Rearm. So it looks like this. Um, so the the principle of the combo, the idea behind it is that you're going to rearm, we're going to use shivers while rearm is being channeled, and as soon as the channel ends, the the uh, cooldowns are going to be refreshed, including that of shivers. So basically, so. if you have vision on, uh, on an enemy, you just use missile, rearm, shivers, shivers, blink, missile, laser or hex or whatever item you have. Um, it can be very useful because you can just catch them by surprise, slow them, have vision on them. And it's basically uh, a lot of magic damage uh, in, in a short period of time. I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, so as you can see it's uh, 1400 damage, which is, which is very decent. Um, uh, the, the the bad thing uh, about Shiva's compared to Dagon is that it does way less damage, but it's it, it can be it can be very useful. It's also good for farming, so you can if you have a group wave you can do this, and you can clear it very fast. Yeah, that's basically it about Shiva's. Last but not least, drop in items in the base for a quick regen. Um, so the way you do it is very simple. You just, let's say, okay, use mana. You TP to base, and what you do is you rearm. And while rearming, you just drop uh, your big mana item. For me, it's Edelens. And you don't need to shift Q it or uh, like time it perfectly. Just while rearming, just drop it. And it's gonna drop instantly after the rearm ends. And then you can use, um, you know, soaring bottle. Uh, some people just, you know, rearm, drop Adelens, use soaring, and then pick up Adelens and TP away. Uh, sometimes what I like to do is just keep Adelens on the ground and then regen with my bottle. It's up to you. It's just a question of preference. So we're just gonna perform it again. Just gonna use some mana. TP to base, rearm, and here I, I, I picked up my Edelens as soon as I use Soul Ring. So as you can see, it's not, it's really not difficult. There is nothing um, difficult about it. You just, you, you just drop your item while rearming. You know, like it doesn't require to be quick. Just rearm and drop your item, and it's gonna drop automatic, uh, automatically after. Then. Do this, pick it up. Just just practice it, you know, as for everything. And uh, yeah, that's basically item dropping the base, the fountain.